Hello and welcome to another video and we're going to be talking about James Beadle again. Hello and welcome to this video. If you can hear a bit of background noise, I apologize for that. There's not a lot you can do about that. It's the time of year where people are doing things and I can't really do much about it. So, James Beadle, uh, we had him on loan for the second half of the season before he had a loan belt at Oxford in the first half of the season. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing, getting for people faces and subscribing. Let me know you like the channel. So we were very eager to get him back for next season. Now that may still happen or it might not because there's been a different thing that I've been said by, uh, Roberto Zerbi, who want to get a good look at the England Youth International in the summer. And they got a lot of good uh, representations in keeping. They've got Carl Ruffwood, who was on loan at Swansea, and they've got a who is three-year-old and Beadle, but then they've also got Swansea. And it'll be interesting to see what they do. And then they've got also Bart Verderberg and Tom McGill, as well, so they got a fair bunch of uh, keepers who they want to kind of have a look at in preseason. They might want to change it up a little bit and go from there. Uh, but he turned around and told the media, Zerby, uh, Beadle and Ruffles are both very good keepers. Maybe in preseason we start with both because Bart will be in Europe and Tom will be at Copa America with Canada. I have much time to analyze both. Now that's a bit of a blow for Wednesday because he, Danny does want to have players in before the start of preseason. And that could be a change, a switch and a change of where we look. And maybe that makes a look at more of getting a goalkeeper on a, on a permanent basis than uh, going for a loan. You never know. We don't know what a thing is like, but here's the thing. There's a lot of things that could change and go a bit differently for us because I understand that having to like have a look at someone while you haven't got your two senior keepers, it makes sense for Brighton to see what they've got and see how they're improving because they'll have seen the games that both the keepers have played for their respective loan clubs. But it would put a blow in that kind of thing of wanting to get all the business done early. Now, I think the goalkeeping position is going to be a crucial one for us for a while because we need to get a permanent keeper in and... This is the issue for me because we need to get a permit keeper in and get it all sorted in that sense because I don't think we can go into another season unless we're setting Pierre Child to be our number one for the future with another loan keeper if we don't know kind of thing because that's got to be a position that you own. Like you own that keeper, that's in your club, that's the person that helps build your back line. Um, and I think there's a part of me that's like, I'd rather talk talk to Brighton about maybe going, hey, the possibility we do a deal for buying him, and then put a sell on fee on, like we've done with Masaba and Gasame. But there's going to be a lot of free agents popping up soon, so. It will be interesting to see what we bring in. Uh, who knows, there might be a keeper that's not been spoke about and is already on our radar. But the keeper situation is something we have to nail down this season uh, coming into having a permanent one for me personally. I'd rather have a permanent keeper than a loan kind of thing because if a club then has a goalkeeping situation where it goes wrong, they can recall the keeper there with the emergency loan and do that that way. So it'll be interesting. But I also think there's a case of Pierce Charles getting game time next season. If you're going with the fact that Beadle's 19, Pierce Charles is 18, I think you're going to see a lot of different moving parts in preseason and figure out who we want to get in, who we're going to play with. Because I think there's a part of me that Pierce Charles could be your number one for years to come if we can get a contract sorted in front of him as well. Uh, so let's see what happens on that one. But goalkeeping position is one that I really do want us to sort out and get sorted quickly. 
because you can build on that. You build on that going forward and sorts of things that because as it stands, we don't know what's going on with Cam Dawson. We don't know what's going on with anyone. We haven't had the retain list yet, but let's see where we are and how things go, but we'll see how it all squares up and go from there. But at this moment in time, Brighton boss will probably not be allowing them to come out until they've had their pre-season camp, which puts a bit of a dampener on what Danny wanted to do there. Maybe we just move on to a different target.